Have you ever been bullied? I'm assuming all of you said yes to that because pretty much everyone in the world at some point in their lives has been made fun of for something. But if you're someone who said no, you're most likely a liar. Or the coolest person on the planet, you're very fortunate. God bless you, I suppose. But it's time you start getting bullied, so I'll go ahead and be your first experience with it. Fuck you, stupid face. Now we're all on an even playing field. So I'm sure, like I said, all of us have experienced, in one way or another, being made fun of by our peers. But I think what very few of us have experienced is being bullied by the person who gave us life. Uh, I am so pissy today. Just, just downright motherfuckers today. This lady who kicks off this rant with a Chewbacca screech is an OnlyFans model who has a child. And she's about to go on this big spiel about how her child being sick at school has cock blocked her. And she just starts insulting her own flesh and blood. Admittedly, I'm also a bit confused on what she even means when she says she's downright motherfuckers today. Am I out of touch or is she the problem? I, I don't I don't get what that means. It seems like she's just desperately trying to be like quirky. I had to come up here. I had to come up here at fucking 11 o'clock in the afternoon. That's prime time when, that's prime time. If you know what I mean. She goes non-verbal there for a moment and starts spamming Fortnite emotes, but don't worry. I'm picking up what she's putting down here. So she's complaining that she's now had to go all the way out here at 11 o'clock in the afternoon, which immediately is news to me. I didn't know 11 o'clock made it to the afternoon. Feels like it probably shouldn't meet that criteria, but who am I to question such an intellectual? But she's upset because apparently 11 o'clock is prime time <coughs> coitus, which again, very enlightening information for me. My third eye is being forced open here to the truth. 11 o'clock feels like it'd be one of the most inconvenient times to schedule your fucking bedroom ham sandwich appointments. It feels like that's right in like the middle of the workday for a lot of normal people. It's also just generally early for such debauchery. But who, again, who am I to be questioning this? She's upset because it's now intruded upon her having sex and now she's inconvenienced and she's irate but listen so that's partly why i'm cranky but i'm cranky because my child my child is 10 i had to come up to the school and i had to pick him up why why did i have to fucking pick this kid up i had to pick this kid up because he's a man okay he's a little man and he's got a weak ass stomach like fucking most men do she gets so heated that her eyes start going cross during this he's not a little man he's a little kid He's 10 years old, he's a boy, and he was puking. It makes sense that the school would call the mother to come pick up the kid because he puked a few times. Can you imagine being the kid and seeing your mom just flaming you online in a viral rant? Like, that's gotta be downright diabolical to experience. Especially if, like, his classmates see it. That'll just be infinite ammunition to use against him anytime they want to make him feel bad. Just bring up that his mom insults him publicly online. It also feels so weird hearing his actual mother refer to him as this kid. That's like something you used to say on Xbox Live during some Call of Duty shit talking. Oh, this kid's just fucking camping, noob tube, one man army, coward. <laughs> like, I don't know why she like harbors such disdain for him here over something he can't control, puking. So somebody busted ass in the library. He threw up not one time, not two times, but three times in the library. Fucking the, literally the nurse calls and she's like, you're going to have to come pick up your son because he just vomited three times in the library, like exorcist style all over the place. Why? He's not even sick. Um, some kid farted next to him and he said that it made his stomach feel bad. She tries to channel her inner Jim Carrey here for the comedy of the of the video. And I'm not entirely sure if this is real or not, this story she's telling, or if she's just trying to put on some kind of performance. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how much you try and dilute cringe, it's still cringe. The result will be the same here. She does have a child, and you are using him as the punchline of your joke. 
assuming this is all just a made-up story. And if anyone in his schools from his class sees this, they will undoubtedly make fun of him for it, because you are making fun of him. I remember when I was growing up, I used to get made fun of for being short, or actually there was a period in fourth grade where there was one guy in particular who used to make fun of me for having really red lips, so he called me Lipstick Boy. He was the only one that made fun of me in that manner, but for some reason that really struck a chord and it made me feel terrible. I couldn't imagine then going home and like hopping on TikTok and seeing my mom be like, My son just fucking puked three times because someone let out a stinky fart. What a weak boy. What a weak little man. And it makes me upset because I was about to fuck. I was about to have some naughty sex. And now I've got my stupid son who needs to get picked up from school. What a waste of time and what a waste of space that kid is. It's like, Jesus, that, that would hurt on such an unbelievably profound level. It would actually hurt more if this is a fake story. Like, Mom, why are you lying about me just to dunk on me for internet points? Like, Jesus, why are you treating me like a punching bag? And, of course, I'd go into school the next day afraid, looking over my own shoulder, like, every step of the way down the hallway, wondering who's going to insult me if they happen to see my mom's viral video. So I have to interrupt my day... Be be because some kids got a rank asshole? That's a new kind of skin block. What? That's some that's some bullshit. And I was like, does he have to pick it up? Like, can we can it be like an hour? <laughs> can we like work something out? And he was like, mm, he needs to be picked up immediately because he threw up. I really don't get why she tries to censor herself. So instead of saying cock block, she just puts up the C and then like I don't know, stop sign. I don't I actually don't really know what that was. A fucking force push at the camera. But like she does like mouth the words cock block and I don't know why she doesn't just say it with her whole chest. She says bullshit, she says fuck. Like it's not as though she's censoring bad words or anything. So what is the point in all of these huge exaggerated Pixar animation gestures when talking about you having to leave getting piped to pick up your kid? I just don't, I, I don't really understand the point of that. He threw up because he has a weak stomach. What about the kid who busted ass so fucking bad that he cleared out an entire goddamn library? That seems like a problem. He seems like he should get some medical attention. Not my kid. Busted ass doesn't mean what you think it means, lady. It doesn't refer to farting. It refers to falling and hurting yourself. That's when you bust ass. What you're looking for, what you're trying to use is ripping ass. Ripping ass is what you're trying to describe here. You're not even using the correct terminology. You're not using the preferred scientific nomenclature to refer to this incident. Not my kid who's just got a weak stomach. Damn. It's not... Uh, I have... I'm gonna Kool-Aid man through... I'm gonna Kool-Aid man through the side of a wall today. That's what I'm gonna do. Yep, I'm gonna do it because I'm pent up and I got a lot of aggression. Here's what I think. I think at some level this story has true elements, but it's embellished for the sake of her being able to exaggerate because she thought it would make for a silly video that TikTok would gobble up. But I don't know why she thought it would go over well. At the core of this story she's telling, it's she's having sex, has to stop having sex because her child is puking at school, and she's insulting her child for that. It's a horrible look for you. This is not a story you'd ever share if it was true because it would be embarrassing and make you look like a very uncaring mom. But if it's fake, it makes you look like an attention-seeking clout chaser that will use their kid as a stepping stool, like a fucking doormat, for some clout. There's just no winners with whatever your plan was with this video. Regardless of the authenticity of the story told here, at the very least, it is cringe. So yeah, that's really about it. So yeah.